I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. too fast, but here he is jumping and jolting Jerry Lee Lewis. How are you doing today? Here I am. Well, I'm outside of Clayton, Louisiana, which is really, really tiny. The biggest cities are like two out like Jackson, two hours east, Baton Rouge, two hours south, Shreveport, about two hours west. So really right in the middle of kind of nowhere. It's beautiful out here. And I always say I hate to say that in the middle of nowhere because people live in the middle of nowhere, so it's not the middle of nowhere to them. But, I mean, I'm going to show you on a map right now where I am. And there's not much around. I haven't seen another car for 20 minutes. I just saw somebody over here at the row of little uh, two houses of trailers over here. So there are some people out here. But this is deep in Louisiana. Right on the other side of there. See where those trees are? That's a giant swamp. It just goes all the way. And all the ditches here. It's just water. So, alligators. Better watch out. But here I am. I've made it to the Heron Family Cemetery. Heron. That is the family name of Jerry Lee Lewis' mom. So this video is about Jerry Lee Lewis, the killer. He's buried out here. Isn't that crazy? We're going to see his grave, see his family's grave. We're going to talk about Jerry Lee Lewis. Tremendous musician. One of the greatest rock and roll singers of all time. Of course he had. Well, he's Jerry Lee Lewis. You can't talk about Jerry Lewis without talking about some of the other things. He was, he was, he was Jerry Lee Lewis. All right, let's take a look in this cemetery right here. So I showed you a bit of the drive coming down and it's pretty sparse out here, but there's some houses here. But I've been looking up this location and at first I thought it was on private property or family land. I wasn't sure. It's also called Calhoun Cemetery. So I was very confused about whether or not this gate was locked. This is a gamble come all the way out here it's looking like it's not and so I I knew it was I I figured out that it was a public cemetery but then I saw this gate on Google you see it on Street View the cemetery and I thought well geez am I only gonna be able to get in if I go there but here we are so yeah I can already see where Jerry Lee Lewis is a lot of his family is buried here and the Terrell family as well but you can see this is quite an interesting cemetery. I saw one about five minutes ago, very similar with the Louisiana graves where they're above, above ground somewhat, grips and about just about 10 of them on the side of the road. Okay, so we've got a couple of benches, some dogs. Now I'm assuming the Jerry, Jerry Lewis's family is more over there. But you can see a lot of people come out here. A lot of people do come out here. There's lots of stuff left for people, and especially over there for Jerry Lee. And I realize it's very, very windy, and I'm doing my best with the wind. I've got a giant windsock on the uh, microphone, so hopefully you can hear me okay, nice and clear. And there's Calhoun, so that's who the cemetery also is named after. It's Calhoun Cemetery, also known as the Heron Family uh, Cemetery. And here's the herons right here. Some of them right here. This would be Jerry Lee Lewis's uh, mother's side of the family. 
while we get to Jerry Lee Lewis's grave, why don't I just have a seat right here? And we'll look. And we're going to get to Jerry Lee Lewis in a moment. But why don't I sit right here on these benches? I'm going to tell you a little bit about Jerry Lee Lewis. I mean, his life was pretty public. Probably know a lot of stuff about Jerry Lee. One of the most famous entertainers of all time, easily. Easily. I know that from a very young age, Jerry Lewis showed his musical abilities and uh, learned piano at his aunt's house. And then his father bought a piano. But he had to mortgage the house to get it. But Jerry Lee was soon performing in school assemblies, talent shows, tent revivals, and on the radio. Tried to break into the music business in New Orleans and Shreveport, Louisiana, on the Louisiana Hayride, where Elvis performed, of course, and in Nashville. And then eventually he landed at Sun's, uh, Sun Records in Memphis. Lower's hits, whole lot of shaking going on, of course, Great Balls of Fire, Nate, you know, the movie, Dennis Quaid, one on a ride, an excellent movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. I saw it about four times back in the day. I'd love to see it again, see how it holds up, but I love that movie. Breathless was another hit of his. He didn't write very many songs. He was a very skilled instrumentalist and vocalist, but he interpreted and put his own stamp on each song that he played. Now, of course, he was a huge star in the 50s, 56, 57. But then in 1958, I mean, Jerry Lee Lewis was married quite a few times, but of course in 1958, I mean, he had a string of hits in 1958, the scandal a big scandal nearly ended his career. While he was on tour in England, he was kind of harassed by the press. This is in the movie too, when it was learned that he married his cousin, his 13 year old cousin. I've read 13, I've read 14, Myra. His cousin once removed, and who's also the daughter of his bassist. Now, Jerry Lee Lewis's marriage at the time, he was also married to someone else. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing, but it's not, you know. And he was boycotted in England, but then he had a huge hit with Ray Charles, What I Say. Maybe What I'd Say, you know that song. And then he returned to England. This time he was greeted as a star. But he kind of had to shift gears. He became more of a country star. He had to come back, but come back as a country star. When he entered middle age, as he got older, his recordings became more sporadic. Then he had an album of duets called Last Man Standing. Mean Old Man was released in 2010. Rock and Roll Time, he did it with a bunch of other musicians. I mean, his life, I mean, there was a lot of erratic behavior, alcohol problems, drug problems, ill health, tax debts, tax, tax, tax. Six marriages. <laughs> he, uh, he had, uh, and he, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm normally not tongue tied, but I, you know, you don't want to speak ill of someone when they've passed, especially when I come all the way out here to see Jerry Lee. But you, you can't mention Jerry Lee Lewis without, without, I mean, he did some crazy things. He did some crazy things. And he was accused of abuse, yeah, physical abuse. Now, I know that his fourth marriage to a woman named Jaren, uh, she was, I think they were together about 11 years. She drowned in a swimming pool at the home of a friend just weeks before they were going to be divorced, before they were going to be finalized. And then another one of his wives died from an overdose of methadone. And people speculated, you know, that he killed them. But I don't, I mean, I don't know. Here's the family here. I mean, there's the famous Elvis story, of course. <laughs> this is, now this is, I can laugh about this. I, I think this, this is well known. They've done lots of um, like cartoons about it and stuff. I think my friend Pete from the Toilet Asian showed me one on uh, YouTube. Allegedly, he showed up at Elvis's home intending to shoot him. This is in 1976. And Jerry Lee said, no, he's just trying to reach him, and finally did, and pointed him to come out of the house. Jerry Lee Lewis was out drinking one night, and he suddenly remembered that Elvis wanted to see him, and he climbed into a Lincoln Continental with a loaded pistol on the dashboard, a bottle of champagne under his arm, and tore off towards Graceland. Just before 3 o'clock in the morning, Jerry Lee Lewis smashed into the famous Graceland gates. 
So Elvis, in the video, I think they show Vernon at the gates, but it was Elvis's cousin who was manning the gate. But uh, Jerry Lewis said that he never intended, never intended to do Presley any harm, that they're a good friend. But Elvis was watching on the closed circuit monitoring, and he had the police called, and the police all showed up. And then the cops asked Elvis, what do you want us to do? And Elvis said, lock him up. He was charged with carrying a pistol in public drunkenness. And then the mugshot, the famous mugshot, came out around the world. His death. Jerry Lee Lewis had a minor stroke in 2019. And he had to cancel several appearances. And then October 20th, 2022, so not too long ago, when he passed away in Nesbitt, Mississippi, at the age of 87. Two days before he died, it came out that he died. And that was weird. They missed... Uh, it was an anonymous tip. I mean, he was close to death, but so two days before, was saying that he died, but he didn't. His funeral was held here in Faraday, Louisiana, and the service was officiated by his cousin, Jimmy Swaggart, and Jimmy Swaggart's son. So in the video, you see Jimmy Swaggart. I mean, in the movie, yeah, they really were cousins. Now, we're going to get to the family. See what I can remember. Here, this is his son, one of his sons. And he died in a car accident, Jerry Lee Lewis Jr. in November 1973. Over here, Daddy, Elmo K. Lewis. That's Jerry Lee Lewis's dad. And here, very, very sad, this little boy, this is his son with Myra, the young cousin, with a little lamb on top. Steve Allen Lewis died at three years old, drowned in a swimming pool. And that's heartbreaking. There's Jerry right there. We're gonna go there in a second. I'm just looking for his mom. His mom is Mary. So she might be over here with the hair. Well, here's the Heron family. She might be over here. John William. Teresa Lee. Henry C. Heron. Swagger family here. Huh. Oh. Mamie H. Lewis. Mamie Heron Lewis. A mother who is the sunshine of our world. We will remain in our loving memories. So that's Jerry Lee Lewis' mom there. Elmo K. Lewis. I believe that's... Uh, that would be Jerry's brother who died at a young age. Yes. He's named after his father. Elmo K. Elmo K. Jerry Lee Lewis's brother. So this is his fifth wife, and that's the date of her death, August 24, 93. She's the one I was speaking of who passed away from a methadone overdose. And he was actually married seven times because now that I'm thinking about it, Myra, his 13-year-old wife, the, the one that he married when she was 13, he ended up marrying, it says Myra down there, that's why I'm saying Myra pointing. He ended up marrying her brother's former wife. So not related by blood, but still, what? It's all very confusing, somewhat. I've got a little faceplate name uh, plate here for Junior. A light uh, rain falling. Normally Louisiana is just completely full of just it's just heat. It's just heat, nonstop heat out here in these bayous and swamps. The gallanders. Who's over here? Sanders. Sanders. And as you can see, like I said, a lot of these graves. There's lots of fresh flowers. Brought out here Reverend Doss Tipton. Lily Tipton. I mean, I've given a brief biography of Jerry Lee Lewis. Great balls of fire. A whole lot of shading going on. Killer. You know, up there with Johnny Cash, with Elvis, as one of the, one of the pioneers. One of the pioneers of rockabilly music and a country music. And he led a turbulent, crazy life. And he lived a long life. And there he is right there. And as I said, it's just October 2022. And I remember when, it, I mean, it wasn't that long ago, obviously I remember, but I mean, I remember hearing that he died and then saying, nope, he's not dead. And then two days later, yes, he has passed away. It's, it was very bizarre. But sometimes, and I think TMZ got the scoop and they were wrong. I think it was TMZ. Let's look over here for a second. This is exactly where, see there's those houses I was talking about, the trailers. This is exactly where they've got fences around. 
the cemetery, thank goodness, because that's exactly where alligators in Louisiana lie. Side of the road in the swamps. Eesh. And it's raining, but those little bubbles coming up just freak me out a bit. Oh, there's some, there's some graves back here too, even. Aubrey, one there, kind of covered, if you can see right there. Mirage, Chandlers, more Chandlers. And here, once again, as I've walked around and babbled on about Jerry Lee Lewis, here he is. Jerry Lee Lewis's final resting place. No name uh, headstone yet, there will be one. I mean, look at all these here. There's gonna be a big one. And I assume at some point, more people start coming out here. It'll be, this is here from the funeral. That's when you have it at, like when they're laid to rest. That's been here since October, still in the ground. There's gonna be more stuff brought out here and more people will probably visit. It's a far cry from Meditation Garden at Graceland, you know, or Jim Morrison's final resting place, that sort of thing. But it's a beautiful, beautiful area. Quiet, serene. You wouldn't think one of the biggest musicians the world has ever known is buried out here. But it's the South, it's done, things are done a little different. And um, very religious man. Comes from a very religious family. Maybe just want a simple burial. You know, nice little headstone, no fuss. This is all my assumptions. And if you look here, it says Jerry Lee Lewis, September 19th, 1935 to October 28th, 2022. And I got this really cool rock that is just like that. You flip it over. You can't really see it here, but it's glittery. It's kind of rock and roll. No pun. Leave that there. goodness oh it's maybe lights I think okay oh yeah there's lights all here look hanging down steady on twinkle oh, interesting so maybe at night it's lit up oh, is there more one there yeah I'm hanging down here so there's one two three four five so perhaps at night it's kind of lit up that's really cool over here in the corner, there's two, two of the Terrell family. I'm not sure if that's a grave. That could be. There's some very strange sounds all around me. The rain is starting to come. And yeah, there's lots of creaking and lots of, and the wind is settled down at some up, but there's a storm coming. And I mean, this is hurricane. Uh, area but it's not hurricane season but it feels like it is that rain wow here it comes one thing I want to do is I want to open this and see what this says happy Valentine's Day oh yeah I love you happy Valentine's Day that's very nice flowers over here 
This is wild. Wow, this is a long drive to get out of here, but I'm glad I did it, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I'm telling you a little bit what I know about Jerry Lee Lewis. To tell his story, Jerry Lee Lewis, it's 20 hours. You could you could do a 20 hour podcast or 20 hour uh, reading of his autobiography and, and biographies written about him. There's so much. There's so much. We're gonna leave it at dynamic entertainer, tormented man, uh, superstar. Jerry Lee Lewis. All right, now I'm gonna make my way down to, I'm not sure, oh, oh. Whenever you see this, a little lamb on top. August 21st, 1962 to October 13th, 1962, Michael Lee knew. Son of Frankie and Boyce knew. <sighs> it's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking when you see that. Boyce Wayne Terrell, musician. I'm not sure, no. Just got a picture of him there. This is a, this is a good dude. Just passed in 2021. Boy, 61 years old. Too young as well. Too young is. is Anything under 80, I think, is to me, it's too young. Wish everyone a long life. Rest in peace, little Michael. Yeah, I just, I am, um, whenever I see anybody young, especially, you know, when they're under 20 years old or something like that, it's heartbreaking. And um, when you see a baby who lived three months, Jerry Lewis is one of his sons, three years. His other son, 19 years. I mean, the man suffered through a lot of heartbreak and lost a lot of people in his life. He lived a long life and lost a lot of people. And yeah, it's just heartbreaking to see some of these sometimes. And uh, thank you for watching. Wish me luck with the alligators down the road. Just drive right past them and give them a wave. All right, thanks for watching. From somewhere in Louisiana, peace. Clayton, Louisiana. Look it up. Nice little town. Peace.